Hello and welcome to Talk Soup, a weekly podcast from Selma City Schools where you will hear information regarding our schools, the district, and the community at large. And now, our host, Dr. Avis Williams. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Talk Soup. Can you believe this is our third segment? I know, I'm excited. I am too. I am Avis Williams, Superintendent for Selma City Schools. And I am Courtney Washington, Community Engagement Specialist for Selma City Schools. And we want to welcome you to Talk Soup. So um, today we've got a number of things that we're um, going to accomplish. Of course, we're going to have a special guest to share their why. You know, why do we do this work that we love so much? Um, And as always, and as promised, we're going to have our segment the street committee said, what? what? <laughs> and we're going to uh, dispel a possible rumor that might be floating around. And then we're going to wrap up this uh, for this segment with a special guest. And then one of our scholars oh. um, is going to share a little bit about his future and what he looks forward to um, beyond high school. I wonder so, who that could be. I know, right? We're going to find out shortly. Uh, so... I've been talking a little bit about our academies of academic excellence right. and um, all I can say is wow when I think about the direction that we're moving in um, and you all know that excellence is one of our core values right. and you know so our goal is to make sure that through the work that we're doing we're exuding that right um, and that's yeah. that's most true when it comes to teaching and learning and we want it everywhere but our goal is to make sure that we're nailing that teaching and learning piece right. and so with our academies for academic excellence every elementary school will have a specialty program. That's exciting. I know it. I mean, it's, that's, that's a great thing, and yes. it's a great opportunity for all of our scholars and our families. Right, and what I like most is uh, our uh, intentional, um, the way that we are being innovative mm-hmm. in how we're approaching teaching and learning. Yes. And, um, yeah, I'm excited yeah. about that. Absolutely. So, you know, we, we um, will have six elementary schools, and we're going to tell you just a little bit about what each school um, will be specializing in. Right. Um, And then I I probably should wait to the end to preview uh, future segments, but uh, we are going to have principals from each school as guests as we move forward so that they can go into even more detail about their specialty program. Exciting. Yes. So, Sophia P. Kingston, they're going to have what they call a collaboratory. Okay. Um, And we talked about maker spaces, um, I think, on the first segment, and it's just where kids get to um, really do hands on learning. Um, It's everything from Legos, robotics, robotics kids, um, uh, project-based learning and problem-based learning. And so Sophia P. Kingston is excited about their specialty program revolving around the collaboratory um, and particularly a makerspace. I like that name too, the collaboratory. Right, right. I like that too. Um, Clark, I love this one, social justice. That is awesome. Yeah. Do you so know what that means? I was preparing future lawyers. Right? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Future lawyers, future uh, community activists. You know, when you think about the engagement that they could learn right. to be a part of, yeah. civic engagement. Um, I think about debate. Okay. You know, I think about learning about our history right here in Selma, which is something that I hear from the community a lot. Yes. You know, I hear um, a lot of our parents and families, our church partners, mm-hmm. um, oftentimes talk about the fact that um, we study history, but we have uh, scholars right here who don't truly know the history of Selma. Yeah. We need to change that. Yes, we do. And I think that the Social Justice Academy um, is one um, sure way for our students to become more engaged civically. That's an excellent idea. I like that, Clark. Yeah, Clark. Yeah. Okay. What about Knox? What are they doing? Knox is doing something that's dear to my heart. They are doing uh, a performing arts uh, focus. And so they are including, but not limited to, the components such as dance, mm-hmm. theater, singing, uh, set design, Ooh. and anything that's related to the arts. And okay. what I like most about that is that I was an artsy student. Yes. And, so anything and you that was, still are artsy. Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> but I, I saw the difference that it made for me in terms of learning. And okay. even with my dancers now, that, that discipline is transferable into school as well as into Absolutely. arts. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank and that's you. fantastic. You know, I talked to Mr. Williams, our band director from the high school over the weekend, about the possibility of our, our high school band partnering oh with Knox God, for that. Exciting. Wouldn't that be cool to have an elementary marching band? Yes, it would be. Yeah. Yes. And that's part of performing arts. So that might be something to come as well. Uh, Metaview, which we are repping Metaview today, um, the Metaview Lions, (laughs) 
they're going to have a STEM Academy. And STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And uh, one thing that I've talked to Principal Rackley about um, and that she's really excited about doing is developing a coding progression. Mm. So in other words, what does coding look like kindergarten through fifth grade? Mm. Um, and you know, what type of uh, activities um, will the will students engage in for coding across those grade spans? So uh, MetaView will do STEM. Um, now, closely related to that will be pain, which would do STEAM, yeah. and the A is arts. Yes, right back to arts again. <laughs> um, and I love the fact that we're going to have opportunities um, in several of our students, uh, several of our schools, rather, mm -hmm. for um, our scholars to learn about the arts as well as um, uh, STEM careers right. and that type of thing. Um, yeah. And Edgewood came up with something really innovative as well. Theirs is going to be entrepreneurship. Um, how about every student at Edgewood owning a business? That is wonderful. So kind of like Gabby Bowes, right? Kind of like Gabby Bowes. Oh. And shout out to Gabby. She was um, our guest speaker at our January Institute, 12-year-old right. entrepreneur and um, setting the way for what our students could be doing. I like it. Um, they're going to start off with a lemonade project uh, that I think they're going to do this spring. Okay. Um, and that's where they partner with... Um, I think Elkdale um, to uh, actually set up lemonade stands mm -hmm. and use a business model um, and, and explore what that looks like um, for elementary scholars. Oh, Cersei already. And what that does is it prepares our scholars for when they get to high school and yes. they are participating in activities such as the Shark Tank, which two of our yes. seniors won. I think that would be awesome. Right. I mean, how much better prepared would they be for the Shark Tank if they've already owned a business, right. ran a business, yes. um, created business plans, and that sort of thing. So it. those are our academies of academic excellence. And now, when are these set to start? Great question. So most of them are starting at the beginning of the school year, okay. but some of them are doing soft launches this spring. And so mm -hmm. when we meet with the principals, when there are guests in the coming weeks, uh, we can learn a little bit more about the specific timelines. Um, and some of the activities that the community might want to be a part of. Okay, so community partnerships are going to be very, very much needed for our academies of academic excellence. Absolutely, and I think all of our schools, in fact I know all of our schools already have some strong partnerships yes. uh, thanks to the work that you do as our community engagement specialist. <laughs> <laughs> um, you rock. Uh, but we need more. Yes. We can always use more, and especially as we look at these specific programs, these right. specialty programs, um, because we want the partnerships to help um, empower our scholars and our teachers and leaders within these schools so that they can be even more successful with the specialty program. Yeah. yeah. Super it. exciting. So we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to do our segment, My Why, and the street committee said, what? Be right back. And we're back. We have with us our Director of Federal Programs, Mr. Raphael Simmons. Glad to be here. Thank and you. Mr. Simmons. And you're going to share with us your why. And as you all know, we have this as an ongoing segment um, based on a campaign that we did uh, several months ago, My Why SES. Yes. Uh, so, Mr. Simmons, as Director of Federal Programs and Strategic Planning, what's your why? Well, my why is, is a little bit selfish. Um, I'm really all about focusing on students and supporting them and also helping, assisting teachers to make sure they can have all the resources that they need mm -hmm. to, um, to support teaching and learning. And the reason why I say it's selfish because as I walk through all the schools mm -hmm. and I look at some of the children, mm -hmm. I see my face when oh, I was right. their age and I know exactly what some of them are going through. Yeah. You know. I endured a few hardships and I had some really great teachers, mm -hmm. but I had some teachers that, you know, I felt like they didn't care about me. Right. And so that what, that is what really pushes me and that's what really forms my why. Oh, that's awesome. And you know, um, you've said something that I've repeated um, on numerous occasions that we have two positions in Selma City Schools. We have teachers and we have those who support teachers. And um, and you do such an awesome job of doing that. Yes. And I know you are in the schools a lot so that you can see firsthand what supports they need. Indeed, indeed. And I thank you for, um, you know, um, applauding my good work. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so along with your good work, um, you do a lot to support schools financially to ensure that we have the things that we need. Um, like after school programming, like summer programming and resources, um, which brings us to our segment, the street committee said, what? what? Now, I heard on the street <laughs> that Selma City School 
Schools is not having any summer program this year. Who would say such a thing? Such a thing. I wonder myself because yeah. every summer we do have summer learning. Yes. And, you know, with um, budget crunches, mm -hmm. we have had to become a little bit more creative in right. supporting summer learning. Absolutely. So one thing we've done is um, we're partnering with have, coming up with ideas so schools can partner and we can consolidate some mm -hmm. locations. Mm -hmm. So even so, even when those schools that don't have as much funding or limited funding, mm -hmm. those students don't get left out. Absolutely. You know, we all know that the summer slide is a real thing. It's yeah. real. It's real. And summer slide is just um, a research-based concept where um, students, and especially students um, in, in poverty, they actually lose ground as far as their academic learning over the summer. So you may end the school year. Year, um, on grade level and you may come back mm -hmm. after the summer a little bit behind and when that happens year after year after year uh, it creates a problem so that we're having to make more and more academic gains over the year and um, to counter that we want to make sure we have some strong summer learning opportunities uh, most definitely we know that we are a high needs district mm -hmm. and we know that our students need a lot of support in we can't all get it done in those 180 days. Right. And can't get it all done before 3 o'clock. So Should we have year-round schooling? <laughs> no, no, just no. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't want the street committee to say that Dr. Williams said that. <laughs> we will have to come back next week to clarify. Right. <laughs> you know, that's why we have to have, we have to make um, available after school and Absolutely. summer learning as well. You know, it's just an important part of all of our academic programs. Right, very good, very good. So yeah, so the street committee, um, to clarify again, we are having summer programs. We're in the research phase of determining locations. Uh, more information will be given out uh, by the end of this month, no later than early May, um, about those locations and, um, and about what the programs will offer at each school. I'm also interested to see what the summer learning would be like once we introduce the academic, the academies of academic Ooh, excellence. Now, yeah, wouldn't it be so. awesome yes. to preview some of the academy work over the summer? Yes. Mm, we might be mm. onto something here. I like that <laughs> idea because um, our students, our scholars, could get a jump start on right. what they'll be learning during those um, academies. Right. So. Yeah, that's a great idea. And all of them are clearly academically based and would be beneficial in terms of countering that um, summer slide. Indeed. That's a, that's a great idea. Did I you just throw something out there? Yes, yeah. you did. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, Mr. Simmons, thank you for being our guest today. We appreciate you sharing your why, and that was very powerful. Um, and we thank you for your work. Now, we're going to be right back uh, as we wrap up, and we've got another very special guest who will be joining us. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. And as promised, we have a very special guest joining us today, Mr. Courtney Tab. Yay. Courtney is a senior at Selma High School. Ooh. Ooh. That means Courtney is graduating next month. Are you excited about that? Yes. Do you have to dance? Yes. What's your happy dance? <laughs> You don't have to dance. She's a dancer. <laughs> Courtney, you can't make everybody okay. dance. <laughs> Although it's not a bad idea, and I bet you do have a happy dance for graduating, right? Yeah, you don't have to do it now. Okay, so graduating next month, what are some things that you have learned, or how has Selma High School prepared you for what you're doing next? Um, with my communication skills, as in talking to people. Okay. And being professional as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's very important no matter yes. what you decide to do mm -hmm. after high school. And so you've been, you've had experiences where you talk to teachers and... And principals okay. and also with you. The with hey, hey. And Courtney is my serve and shadow student. And that's a partnership yes. that we have with the Rotary, um, with Rotary International. And I've definitely enjoyed working with you. Uh, what else have you gotten out of high school? Well, as in being at ROTC, the whole four years of wow. high school, they help with leadership skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ROTC is great yes. for that. Wow, yeah. So um, you did it all four years. All four years. That's phenomenal. What's your rank? Um, I'm a senior master sergeant. Senior okay. master sergeant. Fantastic. Okay, so you were in ROTC for all four years. You've been communicating professionally. So... What are you planning to do after high school? College, career, military? College. Okay, where are you going? I'm a man and them. Ooh, boo. go Bulldogs! Boo. <laughs> That's Mr. Coleman saying boo. He <laughs> reps ASU, and we like them too, but go Bulldogs. You know, I got my Bulldogs. master's degree from Alabama A&M. 
Have you had a chance to visit the campus? Yes, this past Saturday I drove oh, up there. Awesome. And we had a campus tour. Uh -huh. They also we had they had like an open house. Okay, where well, you got to tour um, various buildings on the campus. Yes, ma'am. How was it? It was awesome. It was amazing. That was new. It was that beautiful and big. Yeah, there. Alabama A and M does have a beautiful they campus. So. Yeah. Absolutely. So wonderful. <laughs> well, Courtney, we appreciate you sharing with us, and I wish you the best and the most success ever and I need you to stay in touch with us, stay in touch with me so that we can keep track on the great successes that you're having. Yes ma'am. Congratulations. Thank you. And I also want to say that anytime I am at Selma High or at an event off of campus and yeah. uh, Courtney is there, he is almost like my de facto assistant um, <laughs> if you will and um, some of the live shots um, that I've submitted on Facebook uh, he helped. So, oh wow. So those leadership skills are really sticking out. Thank that you. That is but. awesome. Fantastic. Well, we are looking forward to seeing great things from you at Alabama A&M and beyond. Yes, hey, hey, Thank hey. You guys. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So as we begin to wrap up, um, we, of course, um, always have some shout outs that we Yay. want to give and some announcements and that type of thing. What we got, Courtney? Yeah, so we'll start out with the shout outs. Uh, so we do uh, Aim for Excellence Awards where mm -hmm. we, again, um, award uh, teachers or various staff that we see uh, doing something that we deem excellent. And so I just want to say thank you to G Mama's Cookies, mm -hmm. KFC. Those are some great cookies, too, <laughs> by the way. They disappear quickly. <laughs> <laughs> KFC, Domino's Pizza. Uh, the flower basket, Al Britton's flowers. I want to say thank you for your dedication to Selma City Schools for providing um, the uh, rewards for our Aim for Excellence. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. And we could not do our Aim for Excellence awards the way we do them right. without our community right. support. Uh, and when I say the way we do them, meaning that we not only give a personal note, but also a special gift, you yes. know, whether it's the G Mama's cookies or a meal from one of our local restaurants or yes. a bouquet of flowers, yes. which makes teachers, staff members, leaders feel really good. Right. Really and, good. and one of the things that I like about our partners is that they are equally as excited to give yes. as our teachers and our staff are um, actually happy to receive. Absolutely. And so when I'm talking to them, of course, yes, let us know. And so I thank you again. Thank you. Absolutely. And we're going to recognize our partners at a brunch coming up soon. May I? <laughs> This is a small flyer, but uh, again, we will be having a partnership brunch April 30th um, at Selma High School at 10 a.m. It is just a way for us to say thank you. And so if you are a partner, um, if you have not heard from me already, you will be hearing from me. Um, but if you don't, uh, if I miss you, I do apologize. But this is um, the invitation for all of our partners to join us and allow us to say thank you for being a partner in education with Selma City Schools. Wonderful. And, and again, we do appreciate our partners so much. So yeah. uh, we look forward to celebrating them at that partnership brunch. Yeah. Um, so I think we've come to the end of our time. Um, we'll be back again next week. And of course, um, we encourage you always to check us out on social media. Where are we on social media? We are on Facebook uh, at Selma City Schools, Instagram at Selma Schools, as well as Twitter at Selma Schools. And we also have a YouTube page um, where you can watch um, this video of the podcast, um, Selma City Schools. All right, and we have um, a YouTube channel. I mean, it's actually yes. a YouTube channel. Yes. Um, so there'll be some other interesting things that we'll uh, add to that channel as we go along yes. as well. So, so stay connected with Selma City Schools, and we look forward to being back next week. Of course, we'll talk about my why, and the street committee said what. Uh, and then we'll also have some special guests from our elementary schools as we begin to really learn more about those academies of academic excellence. I'm just so uh, excited. I know it. I know it. <laughs> so we're going to uh, take some time to dig a little bit deeper in what each of those academies will offer our scholars and our families as we move forward. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Courtney. And again, we wish you nothing but the best and much success to you as you move on um, beyond your years at Selma High School. So we will see you all next week for another episode of Talk Soup. Thank you.